Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve a system of equations. Two equations are given x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 65 and x plus y equal to 3. While solving this problem, I will mainly use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula. So let's get started. I will begin with Pascal triangle. Why? As you can see, its power is 6. So I am going to write the expansion of x plus y whole power 6. That's why for power 6, I need coefficients. So let me find out all the coefficients. For degree 1, degree 2, power 3, power 4, power 5, Now power 6, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. This is our required coefficient we will use. So let me write the expansion. Now we know that if I will write then first power will decrease, second power will increase. Let's write x power 6 plus 6 times x power 5 y plus 15 times x power 4 y square plus 20 times x cube y cube plus 15 times x square y 4 plus 6 times x y 5 plus y 6. Now from let me call this equation 1. This is equation number 2. Now these two terms x6 plus y6 it will give us 65 and x plus y is 3. So I will write LHS as 3 power 6 and these two terms I am writing directly 65. Now the multiplier 6 term I will put in one place and 15 term I will put in the second place means second basket. So let me write 6 x power 5 y 6 x y power 5. Let me take x y common. So x power 4 plus y power 4. Done. Now from these two terms 15 coefficient terms. So I will consider 15. What is common? x square y square. What is left? x square plus y square inside the bracket. And last term is 20x cube y cube. Now I will give one substitution I will say xy I will presume wherever it will come I will write a. Okay. So that calculation will cut short. Okay. Now I am going to write see the terms values 3 power 6 minus 65 equal to 6 times xy, let me write 6a, okay, x power 4 plus y power 4, how it would be, I will write first x square plus y square whole square, what is extra, that is plus 2x square y square, so I have to write minus 2x square y square, done, now come to 15x square y square as it is unchanged, so let me write a square, x square y square will be a square, x square plus y square. So I can write x plus y whole square, x square plus y square plus 2xy. So that 2xy I have to counter, so I will write minus 2xy and 20a cube, x cube y cube 20a cube because we have presumed x y a. So x square y square will be a square and x cube y cube will be a cube. Okay, all right. Now one more thing is there. x plus y I will put 3. So here I will write 9 minus 2xy. xy is a. So 9 minus 2a. This bracket is done. Last term is unchanged. It would be as it is 20a cube. Now come to this term, second bracket or you can say first bracket, 6a. 
how I would write x square plus y square. Again, same thing I will write, which we have written here, x square plus y square. Okay. So, if I will write directly 9 minus 2a whole square, directly I can write. So, 9 minus 2a whole square. See, this is our x square plus y square value. So, it is whole square here. So, I will put whole square minus 2a square. Now, only need to simplify. 3 power 6 is 729. 81 times 9. So, 729 minus 65 so that value will come that is 664 equal to i will expand this 6a in bracket you will write 81 plus 4a square minus 2a square plus 2a square 18 times 2 minus 36 plus again i will expand 15 times 9 135a square minus 30a square, 30a cube plus 20a cube. Okay. After simplifying this equation, we will get the cubic equation. See, after cancellation, whatever it is. So, I will get 2a cube minus 81a square plus 486a minus 664 equal to 0. Task is done. Now I will use rational root theorem. We know that the constant coefficient, find the factors of constant coefficient term. If you will start writing 1 by 2, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4 and so on. The leading term coefficient plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Then we will divide this constant coefficient with leading term coefficient. We will find out eligible roots of this cubic equation. So, if I will check only for a equal to 1. So, 2 minus 81 plus 486 minus 664. It is not going to give us 0. It is not true. So, minus 1 minus half also there. Once I will take leading coefficient plus minus 2 and constant coefficient plus minus 1. I am coming to the direct substitution a equal to 2. Third substitution it would be. If I will put here a equal to 2, it would be 2 cube 8. 8 times 2 is 16 minus 81 into 4 plus 486 times 2 minus 664. Okay. So, it is plus number is 988 minus number is again 988. So, we are getting 0. That means a equal to 2 is one root of this cubic equation, one solution of this cubic equation. Now, let us solve using synthetic division quickly. a equal to 2. Let me write all the coefficients. So, coefficients were 2 minus 81. Then I will write 486 were there. Then constant was minus 664. Leading coefficient as it is 2. So you will write 4 over there, minus 77. Then times 2, 154. What I will get? 332. Then I will multiply with 2, I will get 6640. So quadratic equation is coming out 2a square minus 77a plus 332 equal to 0 with a equal to 2, one solution. Confirm. What is a? Remember x, y is equal to a. Okay. I have solved this quadratic equation. We are getting a equal to 33.52 and 5.052. So, a is x, y. So, let me write here x, y. If I will see now, let me write first then. Okay, second equation is x plus y equal to 3. This is our second equation. Now, I have to solve this combination and a is equal to 2. That means x, y is equal to 2. So, two system of equation we will frame and solve. Let me write here quickly. x, y is equal to 2. x plus y equal to 3. And second set if you will check. x, y is equal to 
5.05.32 and another xy will be equal to 5.052. Let me write 5.05 and x plus y equal to 3 equation everywhere. Okay. If I will solve, see I am writing y is equal to 2 by x. So I will write x plus 2 by x here in this equation equal to 3. Multiply by x, x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. So I will get x is equal to 1 and 2. xy is equal to 2. This equation is true. Product is 2. So y will be, if x is 1, y 2. If x is 2, y 1. So answer is ready. x 1 and y 2. One answer is clear. Now let's verify whether we are getting real values from here or not. So again same job I will consider from the second and third equation. I will write y equal to 33.52 over x. I will put here. So let us put x plus 33.52 over x is equal to 3. Multiply both sides by x and collect all the terms to left except constant. So x square minus 3x plus 33.52 equal to 0. Now you can easily see if I will find out delta then that value will be b square so 9 minus 4ac so 4 times 33.5 that number would be negative. So complex solution hence we will reject. Okay. Similarly, from this equation also, you will write y is equal to 5.05 over x. You will put this value here. Again, x plus 5.05 over x is equal to 3. Multiply both sides by x. x square minus 3x plus 5.05 equal to 0. Delta discriminant. b square minus 4ac. So, b square is 9 minus 4 is somewhere around 20. Negative value, complex solution, rejected. Okay. So both solutions, this one and this one, rejected. Because we are getting x, y complex value. So one solution is accepted, that is x1, y2 or x2, y1. Let's verify quickly. So I will put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. So 1 power 6 plus 2 power 6. 1 plus 64 which is 65 which is our RHS verified. And because of equation is symmetrical so both values are true. x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.